Hello and welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. Well, now we are tracking some breaking inputs. Now, in a significant development on global stage, PM Modi has met, met Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky in New York. Now, PM took to a microblogging website X and said that India remains committed to implementing the outcomes of PM's visit to Ukraine last month to strengthen bilateral relations. He reiterated that India's support for early resolution of the conflict in Ukraine and restoration of peace and stability. Now, these are the latest inputs that we are tracking from the ground. Now, PM Modi has once again reaffirmed India's commitment to strengthening bilateral relations with Ukraine following his meeting with Vladimir Zelensky. Joining us on the broadcast is our colleague Aman Sharma. Very good morning, Aman. What more details we are tracking and how significant will this meeting be for the bilateral relations? See, this is a very, very key development. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, as we knew, was in the US on a three-day trip. And the last engagement of this trip was his bilateral meeting with the President of Ukraine, V. Zelensky, this time in New York. And this was the third meeting between these two leaders in the last four months. You know, amidst the Russia-Ukraine war that has been on since 2022, uh, significantly, Mr. Modi had also met the Palestinian president, Mohammed Abbas, in New York a day earlier. Uh, this key meeting in New York between Modi and Zelensky is now was, uh, comes at the end of the three-day tour, comes as a surprise to many. And India has said that the Ukrainian side had requested the meeting. Uh, Modi's uh, twin meetings with the top leaders of Palestine and Ukraine, while in New York, you know, sources now saying show the seriousness with which India is pioneering efforts to bring the two wars to an end. Uh, the official statement of the Indian government says that Prime Minister, during his meeting with Zelensky, has reiterated India's clear, consistent and constructive approach in favour of a peaceful resolution of the conflict through diplomacy and dialogue. He also conveyed that India remains open uh, to provide all support within its means to facilitate a lasting and peaceful uh, solution of the conflict. The Foreign Secretary uh, of India earlier at a press conference said that the meeting with Zelensky in fact reflects PM Modi's commitment uh, to the effort of peace, that Mr. Modi is concerned about this conflict and especially the toll that it is taking on the world at large and especially uh, the global south. So that this is what is coming from this meeting. Prime Minister Modi saying to Zelensky that he wants to contribute in any way possible. And why this is significant is that the Prime Minister had earlier met Mr. Zelensky in June uh, on the sidelines of the Group of Seven meeting in Italy. Then in August, Prime Minister Modi had travelled to Ukraine to meet Mr. Zelensky. And this is now the third meeting in the last four months between both sides on the global uh, uh, arena here in the, while the UN Security Council, UN GA General Assembly is on. Uh, these meetings carry a lot, lot, lot of significance. And uh, uh, some, uh, the Foreign Secretary, when he was asked, in fact, that were there any specifics discussed about any peace formula. He said there are a lot of discussions mm -hmm. going on. India is a part of those some of those uh, conversations, but no specifics yet. But still, I think Mr. Modi's meeting uh, for the Palestinian president and now with the Ukrainian president within two days of each other in New York uh, carry a lot of messaging. Right, Aman, thank you so much for bringing in all those details. Well, PM Modi has once again reaffirmed India's commitment to strengthening bilateral relations with Ukraine. But it'll be interesting to watch what will India's roadmap be ahead in this run. But now